What's up YouTube? So in the last video we saw how to deploy a site-to-site -site VPN between two FortiGate and the main objective was to show how to allow the secure communication between two office or two branch by using a public network such as the internet. In this video we're going to see how to access securely a network across the internet. So instead of deploying another FortiGate, we're going actually to use a PC. And from this PC, we're going to establish an IPsec tunnel with the FortiGate, and we'll be able to access remotely the PC that is sitting behind the FortiGate. So we will need a client software on the PC, but first we have to set up the VPN on FortiGate. So let's go to FortiGate and at the moment we only have uh, the basic policy allowing internet access from the LAN to internet. So let's go to VPN, IPsec tunnels and we're going to create a new IPsec tunnel. So we'll provide a name that's going to be uh, remote access. And the template type is going to be remote access. The remote device type will be client based and we're going to use a Forti client. Now this Forti client is a software that we have to download from Fortinet. So we'll click on next. And we want to set the incoming interface that we will use to connect to this VPN. So in this case, we will be port two, the one port that is facing the internet. And we have to set the pre-shared key that we'll have to match on the client software. So I'm going to type the pre-shared key. Now the user that will connect to this VPN must exist on FortiGate. So we're going to create a user group and assign a user to this user group. So we'll click on create and we'll name it as a group remote access and that's going to be a firewall type as for members we're going to create a new user and it's going to be a local user and the username will be carvalho and i'm going to type the password and click on next and leave it default now this user we're going to add to uh the remote access group in a moment so we're going to click now carvalho is part of group remote access and we're going to save this and we're going to select group remote access now we're going to set the local interface and that's going to be the lan side on forty gate and that should be port one and the subnet that we're trying to reach will be the LAN side. So it's 1065.74 network. Now for client range, this is going to be the IP that will be assigned to the remote users that connect to the VPN. I'm going to select 10.1.1.1 to 10.1.1.10. Okay, and we'll leave everything the, as default and click on next and we can see a summary about the configuration that's going to be deployed and we'll click on create. So the tunnel is set up and if we click on show tunnel list at this moment is still showing as down. Now let's set up the VPN on the client PC. Here on remote PC, we have to download the 40 client software and we have to install and configure it. So first let's install the software. We're going to access the license agreement terms and we're going to install. Okay. The installation is completed. Now let's open the 40 client and we're going to configure the VPN. And we're going to select IPsec VPN and the connection name is going to be uh, FortiGate Remote Access. The remote gateway will be the public IP of FortiGate. So it's 192.168.8134. 
and the pre-share key will be the one that we define on the fourth gate so we have to match the pre-share key here and we're going to save this and now let's try to access this vpn so let's see and we got this message that the vpn connection failed so let's go back to fortigate admin pc to see if we can get more information about this error we can see that the tunnel is still showing us down so let's look at the logs and see if we can get uh, more information about it so we go to log and report system events and if we look at vpn events we see that we're getting an error on ipsec phase one error with this message we have a clue to what the problem might be recall that an ipsec tunnel is made of two phases. we have phase one and phase two and both sides of the vpn they have to match on the parameters at each phase so let's look at the tunnel details by going to ipsec tunnels and because we created these using the wizard we have to convert to custom tunnel so we can see the details for this tunnel and as you can see we have some parameters and essentially we have the phase one and phase two parameters so if these values don't match then the tunnel won't be established so here we can edit and see that we're using two parameters for encryption and authentication. We're using DAS, MD5, and we're using DAS and SHA1. So I'm going to remove the later one because I already know what the problem is. And we have to confirm that those parameters match on the client software as well. So we're just going to select DAS, MD5, and for Diffie Hellman group, we're just going to leave group 14 and we're going to save it. As for phase two, we have to make sure that we match on the same parameters. We have also two proposals for phase two. So we're going to remove SHA1 and just skip this and MD5. And we're going to deselect Diffie Hellman group five. And we're going to press OK. Now let's go back to remote PC and match those parameters as well. Now let's click on OK and edit the connection. Now if we click here on advanced settings, VPN settings, we see that some of these parameters are similar on FortiGate. So let's expand phase one and we're using two proposals as well but we should be using DAS instead of AES and MD5. So the first proposal, we're going to select DAS and for authentication, I'm going to use MD5. And we're using Diffie Hellman Group 14 for phase one. And let's expand phase two. And we're using DAS and MD5 as well. And for deal for heaven, we are only using group 14. So let's save this. Now, before trying to connect again, we can also use the CLI to help troubleshoot this problem. So on the admin PC, we're going to SSH to FortiGate and enable the bugging of VPN logs. So that should be 1065.74.254. And we want to debug, uh, diagnose, debug, enable. And we want to enable, diagnose, debug, application, Ike minus one. And diagnose, VPN, gate, Ike, gateway, list and diagnose vpn tunnel list okay and we can see some output already and essentially 
what we want is the this is the gateway public ip address okay and so now let's try to connect again and see if the vpn works so let's try to connect again and we are successfully connected so let's try to access remotely uh the pc on main office so that should be 1065 74 200 so let's see if it's going to work it's initiating the remote connection okay so let me try again because i noticed that the pc changed its ip address so you try on two and that's it so let me try to connect okay and we are able to access successfully the pc okay and we are inside of Celesio pc that is sitting behind the 40 gate so if we look at the ipsec tunnel we see that the tunnel is up and if we look at login report system events you can see that the 40 client vpn was connected successfully and that's how we deploy a remote access ipsec vpn on fortigate i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one